Donald Trump has done this before, these initial court appearances in criminal cases in New York City first this year, and then also this year in Miami in a federal courthouse in the state of Florida. What happens is essentially the former president is arrested in court and in that courtroom then meets the judge and gets the, all those charges read out. And that's what we expect to happen tomorrow. Uh, we won't see in court yet a defense, of course, but one has already been hinted at by Donald Trump's lawyers uh, that what they are going to use in the defense of Donald Trump is that this was his freedom of speech, a First Amendment uh, defense, so to say, uh, that the president was allowed to say the things he said. But the Department of Justice would counter that by saying that it was precisely the words of the president that led to the criminal attempt to stop that proceeding, that official proceeding in the building, just a very short walk away from here in the U.S. Capitol, where on January 6th, 2021. The votes were counted and certified in the 2020 presidential election. And we have had a response from Donald Trump to this latest indictment, haven't we? Uh, what's he said? Yeah, we tend to hear from the former president on his own social media platform, Truth Social, and on there today, he says that he has never had so much support. Uh, Donald Trump going on to say this, uh, that this indictment has quote, awoken the world to the corruption, scandal, and failure that has taken place in the United States over the last three years. That's the point of view of the former president of the current uh, Biden administration. Now, usually what we see from the president, and I say usually because, of course, this is the third criminal case that Donald Trump is now involved in. We hear from him on his social media accounts, but we also hear from the higher echelons of the Republican Party. They receive uh, talking points from the Donald Trump campaign and largely use them. And that's what we've seen in Congress, for example, over the last uh, few hours. We've heard, for example, a defense of the former president from the Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy. I should add to this that the White House, over all these last few months and three criminal cases against the former president, the White House does not tend to comment, and it has not done so so far either.